Today I'm taking you through the EPOS Expand Control. This little unit has dual function. Not only can it be the controller for your meeting room, but it can also alternatively be configured as a room booking panel. Stay tuned and see how that's done. I'm Paul Bloom and you're watching In My Humble Opinion. over here we have the expand control unit from EPOS. It really enhances the Vision 3T that I reviewed just previously. So this is my unboxing video. I'm going to take you through all the bits and pieces. Just have a quick look at what's in the box for a start. Uh, it comes with uh, what's needed to get it up and running. And uh, first off, off the rank over here is our Ethernet cable. Good length. Just get it out of the box over there and uh, we can have a quick look at that yeah that'll be handy a little later we'll put that aside i've got my pre-cabled environment here so we'll just put that to the side and get on to what's in the box it's a very soundly packed unit over here you'll see those little ears on both sides holding the control panel in place are very very solid and uh, you'll see when i pull them apart what else is in there a little box over there that's our manual with all our usual documents and things in there we'll move that to the side we'll refer to that if we need to and hopefully we won't we'll just put that over there let's have a look at the unit itself we'll just pop off these ears or these supports and you can see that that they're quite heavy actually and it's because they're actually filled if you can see in the inside there look at that filled with cardboard so that's really good we'll pop the unit out over here now um, the unit has a good size and it's angled. You'll notice it's got this little angled bevel in the back and it can stand on its edge. It's got that little covering on there which makes it nice and well protected. Just show you the size over there. We're looking at about 24 and a half, 25 centimeters by about 16 and a half, almost 17. When you flip the unit around over here, this is the cable access tray. Now that little hole over there can also be mounted on a desk with a fitting so that it rotates on there. Uh, but I'm going to need to get inside there to connect my cable. So we'll just open up the back end and see if we can get in. Just by the way, it's a little star fitting that you need in the back there. Unfortunately, the tool to open that is not included. At least it wasn't in the box I received. Looking in the back there, only two connections, Ethernet, USB-C. So pretty straightforward in terms of what we need. We're going to go with the... Uh, Ethernet connection with my PoE. It's got a nice little cable management option over there. Power it up and uh, off we go. I'll just get the unit to go through its regular boot cycle for first time use. I'm going to go into the configuration over here. My language is English. We'll stay with English for now and save and continue. Now remember this is EPOS's Android version on the unit. I'm not using the EPOS manager so I'll skip that. We'll choose my time zone and uh, my preference of 24 hours or 12 hours. Let's look for NZ over there. It's The touch interface is very responsive. And there's something in particular that I like about this touch interface. You'll see when I'm touching the letters over there, the letters stay lit up even after I move away. This has been very useful for me and my fat fingers because that way I can really see what's going on if I mistype something. Communication apps, Teams only, Teams only which uh, is what they've gone with. Now there's two choices. This is great. You can either go for the touch console or the panel. I'm going to do both, but I'm going to start out with the touch console. But it's really good to see that this is the decision that's been made by the smart people at EPOS. I'm just going to put in a vanilla. It forces you, by the way, as you can see, first time to set your admin password from default factory state, which is OK. First time launch, we chose Teams and we went through the initial setup and we're wrapping up the last few bits of first time registration of this device. On my touch console, you can see over there that I have the EPOS expand that's been picked up over there as you can see it's running so what i'm going to do on this end is i'm going to tell it to join or to uh, pair and you'll see i've got a number that's come up on the board over there and that's what i need to pin in over here so the, this is the pairing number so i'll just pop that in there real quick two six seven and i'll go pair 
and it'll be pairing on both ends you'll see the display changes and the controls are now on my uh, epos unit right here so there we go very very easy very straightforward now we've got a bunch of features over here i'm gonna just kind of walk you through them real quickly as you can see them over here we've got our meet now button which as soon as i touch that you'll see my camera jump to life over there as we're connecting camera jumps to life and we are ready to meet now to add more people i'm going to disconnect that real quick you can see their standard mtr type behavior on here of course i've got my usual controls i've got my display layout change over there as you can see i've got my uh, actions you know raise hand with all the other emoticons that have been released in the last few uh, months we've got a little sharing button as well if i go connect device to share it says hey you need to connect it via the hdmi now as i said before there's only one hdmi on that uh, 3t ver uh, unit so we won't go there we've got video on video off microphone mute and not and volume up and down i'm just gonna close that real quickly over there you'll hear the disconnect we'll switch over and we've got again the share button in this case like i said the share doesn't help us too much we've got the whiteboard button which fires up the whiteboard i'll do that however my screen over there is not a touch screen and so i'm not going to get that full rich uh, capability that you would expect to see in a whiteboard and on my display here it shows that the whiteboard is running now an interesting idea perhaps in the future we'll start to see uh, perhaps some kind of a touch interface here where we can contribute but you can see my pens and things are over there i'm not sure if you can tell and uh, that is my whiteboard component i'll just stop that real quick and then of course our more button with all our usual settings as before let's switch this guy over to a booking panel we're going to go to settings and debug tools um, what i want to do is a factory reset i'm going to chuck the admin in there factory reset is an option okay let's go with that look at this it's asking me hey do you want to switch this to a panel that's brilliant it means that it already is anticipating that but perhaps i don't want to do a factory reset at all perhaps the reason is which is probably a likely uh, viable thing right is to switch it over to a booking panel instead of just having it as my room control and the final piece of coming back rebooting as a room panel and there it is there's my room panel ready to go now remember this is a room panel it's only designed for one sitting outside the room viewing what's going on and two for perhaps reserving an open slot like i'm doing right now ad hoc meeting reserve the slot now i've told you before in previous videos what actually happens here is it actually goes back to outlook blocks out that time and that time is now blocked so nobody else can come in there and sneakily steal your room off you and that is what that's for is it available or is it busy so there you go there's my meeting it's coming up in one minute and i still i cannot expand it i cannot open it i cannot look at who's involved or see any details think of the privacy issues think of that sort of thing so probably that is not a bad place to be and then also very very interesting on the side of the unit there are these beautifully lit leds they're not excessively bright but they are bright enough to be able to glow and especially when they're up against the against the wall or something like that they glow enough to give you a, even from a long distance off you can see whether it's red in other words uh, busy or whether it's green which is available and so that gives you that really nice finish to this unit really all in all i must say that it is a really nice product i do like it it's solid uh, it is easy to configure easy to set up the touchscreen's great i like the um, the ability to be able to sort of use those little key buttons and see them pressed as as they're going ahead and being touched there's only one other vendor that i'm aware of that'll allow you to use your room control panel also as a room booking panel i'm paul bloom and you have been watching in my humble opinion